Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to, that card really wants to come, to do your weekly reading for March 5th through the 11th. I was going to say that I'm going to shuffle these oracle cards, and then we're going to break into the reading, but, you know, that card flipped over, I tried to put it back in, and then it just jumped out again, so this card really wants to come. So we are going to go with it. Generally, my readings are love readings, but lately they haven't been. So we're going to see what comes up. Ooh, strategy. Are you coming up with a strategy, Sagittarius? I bet you are. I, I know that you are. Anyhow, we're going to dig right in. Making plans. Making plans for the future. Gosh, I got the goosebumps now. That's what's happening. Getting out of this rut. Wow. Strong goosebumps. I mean, chills. You know, you're looking for security and stability at this time. Taking the lead. I'm the boss. It's time for my success. I demand respect. I will be respected in this matter. I'm going to work as hard as I need to work to be successful. I'm leaving behind what no longer serves me, and I am not looking back. This disappointment, this loss, it's time for me to walk away. It's time for me to let it go. I can't concentrate on this anymore. I'm not going to sit back and cry over spilled milk. It's time for me to take action and bring success to my life. You've been blocking it. You've been blocking success. You've been blocking victory. You've been, there's been a lack of energy. There's been a lack of drive, which has left you feeling alone, left you feeling like unappreciative. And I feel like maybe perhaps other people have not appreciated you. And so you've come to the point where you're gonna walk away from these people that don't appreciate you because it's been blocking you this disappointment this this place of lack that you have been living in has been blocking you from success and i feel as though you it's really it's like stolen your energy it's like you've been robbed it's like I have, I have no, no desire to be here anymore. So I feel like you're letting, letting something die. You're letting something go so that you can bring happiness to your life. You're ready. You're ready to be happy. You're ready to be recognized for what you're worth. You're ready to be appreciated after a time of not being appreciated. It feels as though there's a lesson here that still needs to be learned with the world card reversed. You still haven't stepped over the finish line because I think you're coming up with a strategy that will allow you to complete this destructive, disappointing chapter in your life. You're coming up with the strategy to remove the obstacles that didn't allow you to be successful. 
you're taking the lead, you're being the boss, I'm the boss here. I will be stable, I will be secure. Because I'm letting these this drama these old ideas these old ways go because this is the death of an idea and once you do that once you remove the blockages when you remove the negative thoughts the negative emotions that you have concentrated on for years, happiness will come. Let me get this zoomed in and then we'll get some more cards. The main strategy here is I'm gonna work harder. Working hard. This is a very this is a hard, hard, hard worker. The hardest worker in the zodiac. Work, 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 work. This is the king of work. He works to be successful. He works to be successful anyway, but this is success. So I feel like there was a lack, there was a lack of drive, there was a lack of energy to work because somebody, you were concentrating on a loss, you were concentrating on the past negativity and now I see like there's going to be a new commitment to work and success that brings you a feeling of liberation, of personal freedom. I feel as though there's some kind of revelation that brings new growth. It may be intense, okay? You may, something may happen. There could be some, like I said, a revelation that could come in harshly could be very intense could cause some another challenge okay there could be another challenge but it brings new growth okay there's been well this thing thing is is there's been a lot of trials and there's been a lot of challenges there has and you've been concentrated on that you've been letting it bring you down you've been concentrating on the trials and the challenges and the loss and the difficulties and you know maybe even moping about it like woe is me you know and not seeing that there are other opportunities right in front of you but I think now there's been a shift where you got this revelation that this this staying stuck is not doing anything for you that's part of the lesson you have to put yourself in the driver's seat and you hadn't been so I think the revelation comes that I have, I'm the driver of this ship. I'm the captain. It's time for me to free myself from these challenges, from this mental conflict, because it's mental with swords. And I'm the writer of my script. And I see that you go through this shift where it brings peace and harmony and contentment and personal freedom and growth and excitement and expansion to your life after you put yourself in the driver's seat. This is reversed because some of you haven't done it yet. And that is the lesson. You have to find mental strength. One of the meanings of this card is up, upright is mental strength, mastering your emotions. You have to find the mental strength to master your emotions, to put yourself in the driver's seat, to bring success to your life. 
wherever you have been hasn't brought you success. It wasn't working out. What you were doing wasn't working. And all it did was bring you trials and challenges. And now it's time to expand. And grow. I feel as though you are releasing the past, the past ways, the old ways. I feel as though, and I don't know where this is coming from, there's a grandmother. There's a grandmother on the other side, and I've got the chills, goosebumps, like mad at this point. I mean, they are just flowing right through me. That is helping you. There is a grandmother from the other, oh my God, I wish you could see him. Son of a God, it's like chills. Anyway, there is somebody from the other side that is um, bringing you new opportunities for growth. They have seen your struggle. They have seen your challenges. And they're here to help you. They see that you have been crying and, and unstable. And they, they really want you to take the lead. They want you to be successful and and stop feeling like a victim and you be the boss they they really want you to have success and victory and abundance and this person from the other side is a grandmother is is um helping you to manifest security and stability within your life. You could be receiving a new gift, even something on a tangible level. Okay, you could be receiving some sort of gift, some sort of money, or a new job, or a new career, or even, is this could even be a new partnership, but it's something that is that you can touch. Okay? It feels like It's time to set a clear intention. Set clear intentions. I think they're removing illusions or removing difficulties and losses from your life because you've been stuck. You haven't been able to start over. You haven't been able to, to release. And now it's time for you to have wish fulfillment. It is. It's like... It's a time for you to be happy again. And I feel like it's been a long time coming. But I think your your time of being on the bottom is over. And you're going to start moving up to the top, Sagittarius. I see a lot of growth. I see that... You're headed in the right direction, that you've passed the test. You've passed the test of, of struggle, trials, and challenges. And now it's time for you to have wish fulfillment. It's been a fight, hasn't it? It's been a, it's been a constant fight. But now it's time for you to receive. It's time for you to receive... An offer. Maybe you're, you could even receive an offer of love. Or an offer of romance. Or an offer of emotional support. It's time for growth. Period. Positive. I feel two fives reversed. That's great. You guys are severing ties with the past, severing ties with those old emotions, severing ties with the need to compete, severing ties with uh, negativity, all right? It feels as though now I just want to be happy. I, want, I don't need to prove myself anymore. I'm ready to be happy. 
I'm going to do whatever I have to do to be happy. I'm taking action. And I feel like there's a big, huge relief. Relief. That you should be starting to feel a lot of relief at this time. There's no longer a need to commit. I mean to commit. To compete. I'm letting go of the need to compete. All I want is to be happy. I don't want to fight. I don't want to compete. I just want to be happy. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to be successful. But I have to remind you to be grateful for all that you have at this time. Okay? You're going to have to start at the bottom. Okay? You're not going to have instant success. You're not going to have instant abundance it's gonna take a lot of work a lot of work you're going to have to work 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 and you're gonna have to be grateful for all that you have at this time while you're working to build up your abundance and your success and your victory. If you, gratitude, this is lack of gratitude, okay? If you're not grateful, expect to struggle some more, all right? If you be grateful for all that you have right now, instead of ungrateful, more will come. If you are ungrateful and bitter, then you can, ex that's a negative thought, that's a negative vibration, that's what you're going to get. This should be upright, but it's not. This tells me this is somebody who is not feeling abundant. You're not, and that's okay to feel that way. But if you, if you, if you stay stuck on that thought, if you stay stuck in that spot, then that's where you will stay. You have to be grateful. Be grateful for the job that you have, even if you hate it. Be grateful for your eyes, so that you can, your hands, your feet, your, your life, your breath. The roof over your head, even if you don't like it. Be grateful. Gratitude brings gifts. Gratitude brings gifts. I feel as though things are changing for you and this week there is something that is going to be revealed it could be a challenge it could be a challenge when it's revealed it could be intense but it also brings a gift okay it brings some sort of gift that brings a little bit of peace and harmony and contentment to your life could be money. You could be receiving some money this week. You could be. But I, I really feel like this is bringing you new growth. It's bringing you a new opportunity, expansion, excitement, a new adventure, a new avenue. Something that is going to help you. receive or get to success okay because I see that you're going you're on the path to success I mean that's what I see you are on the path to success this is just a message to get you there to be grateful because like I said gratitude brings gifts I wouldn't be where I am right now if I didn't have gratitude I, th I think my spirits, God, angels, whatever, are the whole nine yards every day. Every day. And I'm abundant. I thank Him for everything. And I'm abundant. Try it. We're going to read this card. 
If I can find the book. Strategy. Making a plan. This card shows a pen, a journal, compass, and key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Did you hear that part? Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. You always have to have a plan. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This, char this card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control. Add thought to action and set your sights on the road ahead. This week is about coming up with a plan for your future. And putting it down in writing. So you actually have that plan in writing. Put it in writing. It's no longer just a thought. It's taken another step. Are you that serious? Are you ready for success? Are you ready for success? Put that shit down on paper. Talk to you later.